Those who say that our youth have nothing to contribute to society obviously have not met Demetrius Johnson. He is president of the Governor's Harbor Home Builders Club, a gentleman's organization striving for youth empowerment, and he is also owner of the Majestic Nine Barbershop. As men in the community, you know, we said, let's take the step uh, to do something positive, to be more involved, to uh, come back and retain our, reti retain our rightful place in the community where we can be the leaders in the community. And so we banded together. Uh, it's Ju January 24th, made three years. So it's made three years the group has been formed. Uh, and we do our own, we go about, we're doing community projects. We work a lot with the young men. Johnson says that while he did come from a broken home, he was blessed to have not only one caring father in his life, but two. And he explains that this is how he arrived at the name for his business. My birth father, Alfred Johnson, played softball, and they used to call him Mr. Majestic. He was a good out, uh, outfielder. And my stepfather, um, Verna Bethel, uh, they call him Big Nine. And so that's where I get the name from, Majestic Nine Barbershop. Majestic Nine has been open for nearly three years now, and Johnson says that while his barbershop keeps him very busy, he also has big plans for the Governor's Harbor Home Builders Club. One of our long-term girls is to try to get some land where we can uh, like to get a community center built here in the community where we can provide a place for young people to come not just to play games but be it studying be it having mentorship be it a safe space for them to to, to come in to participate in positive activity that can enhance their lives in the future and we need the men of this community and the men of the bahamas um, to take more active roles in the lives of their family and the lives of the young men and in order to do that I think the men need throughout the Bahamas to step up and to take the rightful place because in so doing, that'll really help this country to move forward in the direction that it needs to move in. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.